Well, a fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'll show you on the map where I am today, though you may have a good guess. Here it is. That pink uh, pin shows you I am at Greenmount Cemetery. In fact, if I pan over, this is Colchester Ave. Now, if I were a little farther up, you could see that it's uh, tricky to see where the entrance is, especially when you look at how wide the uh, driveway is into here. That's why I, over, I have overshot it the first time I came here because um, I, I didn't realize just how wide. <laughs> but um, anyway, before I, we actually head in, I figured today we would take a stroll in the cemetery. But first, I want to take a look-see at, um, at this uh, state historic marker up here. See if I can uh, zoom in for you. There we go. Go ahead and read it to you. Burial place of General Ethan Allen, born 1738, died 1789. The mortal remains of Ethan Allen, Vermont leader, fighter, writer, and philosopher, lie in this cemetery beneath the marble statue. But his spirit is in Vermont now. And you can probably see his statue in the background. It's the, uh, <laughs> I, uh, the glare is so great on my viewfinder, I can't see at all through it. So, or barely see through it. And then also, I'm gonna go ahead and come down here a little bit. It's a little bit down the hill from here. And you can see on this sign here, that it says, Greenmount Cemetery, City of Burlington, established 1763. This is the oldest municipal slash secular cemetery in Burlington. And as we come up here, just wanted to point out what appears to be an original bit of fencing, perhaps um, the gate, I don't know, let's see. Take a closer look at this. How cool is that? I love stuff like this, in case that has not become clear in my various videos. And, uh, as we look along here, very rusty, <laughs> no doubt about that, but also intriguing. All right get back down here. It is as steep as it looks. Ooh. Yeah. All right. And uh, we see over here more of the same sort of fencing. But look at this here. Look at this entrance. Let me just back up a little bit. Look at that beautiful entrance right there. Is that not beautiful? The uh, dental molding and that's the dental molding right there because so named because it sort of looks like teeth and then above it, it looks like a wing doesn't it along here Let's see if i just walk closer because the zoom i've zoomed in all the way and marble to boot same on the other side Beautiful. Love the uh, these right here. There's one on this side and one on the other. See right there? And I'm wondering if it said Greenmount Cemetery at some point in, um, in there. Ooh. Looks like someone left their iPod buds. Uh, iPod, uh, not iPod, but uh, whatever those are, earbuds. All right. Let's, uh, let's continue now. The uh, point of this stroll is really just to show you the cemetery. I do have um, uh, two videos up currently. One on Edward John Phelps and the other on George Grenville Benedict, the latter a Medal of Honor recipient and the, uh, during the U.S. Civil War at Gettysburg and the former lawyer, diplomat, state's attorney, uh, a nominee, a Democratic nominee for governor 
and woefully, woefully, woefully on the wrong side of history. You can watch those videos and see more about those folks. So we can see on this side that these uh, graves look fairly old, but I'm going to start on the other side. Of course I am. Now I'm filming this on Saturday, July 24, 2021, 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it's uh, low humidity, sunshine as far as you can see, not a cloud in the sky. But, uh, so it's an absolutely fantastic day to be outside, no doubt about it. So let's just look at this sign over here for Green Mount Cemetery. You've seen a sign like this. I, I filmed something at uh, a, a sign at um, at uh, Lakeview Cemetery. Looks the same. It looks similar anyway. So this says that it's open seasonally, 7 a.m. to sunset. And what I will say about sunset is that although sunset is about 8.30 p.m., I highly recommend leaving here uh, by 7, 7.30 p.m. It's um, uh, it, it just because of the canopies of all the trees, it just is darker sooner here. Um, it does say no dogs allowed. Carry your trash out with you. Uh, children under 14 must be accompanied by an adult. 10 miles per hour for your vehicles. Stay on paved roads only. Please do not drive on grass. Now, uh, there's not a paved road in this place. Uh, it's gravel. It's, a dirt, it's dirt roads everywhere. So, um, so I have driven here a couple of times already. And I will say that my car is low to the ground and did not, did not uh, like uh, driving through here. But um, you'll see how far back it goes when we walk it. Uh, but just know that uh, you can drive all the way back there. Just know that if you have a low to the ground car, it's not going to like the roadway at all. All right, so let's continue on. Now, I don't know about you, but I do enjoy walking through a cemetery or, or, or even a graveyard. As I understand, there is actually a bit of a difference between the two that I... Um, graveyard is attached to a church. I usually think it's a churchyard. And a cemetery is, well, what we see in front of us here. But uh, uh, graveyard and cemetery are used interchangeably, regardless. All right, so we can see that this was the place to be buried at some point because uh, there are certainly people buried here we've heard of. Now, as I approach this one, no, I've never heard of Britannia Bacon, uh, but uh, what a great name, and what a beautiful, beautiful bit of funerary art right here. Beautiful f statuary. Love this. Love the urn on top with the drape. Um, you can see that uh, this person was born in Gilbertsville, Otsego County, New York. May 15, 1801, and died here in Burlington, July 15, 1888. And even down here, we can see that uh, the name is on the slab. I mean, it's beautiful uh, all the way around. I know my shadow's there, sorry. But look at the, uh, the way it's, well, it's not fenced in, but uh, the way it's protected, if you will. Really just, uh, I love s strong monuments such as this. All right. We'll continue over here. We can see that there's a, there are cones blocking the way of driving over here. Let's just go ahead and walk. Oh yeah, I can see why that middle hump, my car would just get stuck here. Because it feels a bit like off-roading, to be honest. If you're thinking, wow, this place is beautiful, I'd love to be buried here, let me dash your hopes right now. That's an eh, 
uh, this cemetery is no longer allowing internments. Uh, there's no more room. We can see some uh, interesting people buried here. Uh, it looks like Clyde S. Parker, 1895 to 1918. Company E, 101st Ammunition Train, killed near Verdun, France, October 23, 1918. That is such a shame. Pan in so you can see that better. And uh, as we continue, see, uh, wonder if these folks um, over here, the last name is Lange, and uh, if you're a longtime resident of uh, Burlington, you may be aware of Lange Brothers. Uh, which is no longer in business, but it was a convenience store in the south end of town. So I'm just wondering if there are any relation. Uh, Frank D. and uh, Glenna S. Lange. She died in 1928, and he has no end date on his. If you're wondering what that is right there, This area where the cars are parked over over here, that is Centennial Field, right next door to the cemetery. And when I was here a couple of days ago, uh, they were getting ready for a game, I believe, and I could hear uh, them hitting balls. You could hear the cracking of the balls being hit. That was pretty fun. And some gorgeous trees. By the way, you know, if you if you um, Google Green Mount Cemetery, you will find a tour map of both trees and monuments. Not all the monuments, just a select few. So that's free, and uh, that was my starting off, jumping off point for the um, those first two people I, I talked about in the videos and then we see there's some folks buried over here wherever you see a flag that means there's a, a military person buried we can see that this person was Joseph Berner 1834 to 1918 company L first Vermont Cavalry I'm guessing uh, World War I uh, is when, when he died. <sighs> Always fun to see what else grows around here. Got some sort of mushrooms here. Now I know nothing about stuff like this. So if you know what, what those things are, I mean, they definitely look like mushrooms, but uh, I'd love to know in the comments below. A lot of flags here. We had a storm, a severe thunderstorm here ooh, a few nights ago. Actually, ironically enough, I do have three videos on that uh, up as well. A couple are uh, shorts videos because um, it, where I was, where I live. It looked like uh, might be some flooding. A river formed in the grassy area. Now there were two drains there, but still, holy cow! It was a little. Uh, it's more than a little sketchy, shall we say? George Osborne, 1886-1983. Um, now I wasn't going to say anything about the people buried here, but uh, this man was the son of a freed. Uh, slave from Kentucky 
and he served uh, in um, the Philippines and Mexico as a Buffalo soldier. So he would have been stationed at uh, Fort Ethan Allen. Lived a long life. He retired from the military, I want to say it was 1935, and then worked at the American Woolen Mill in uh, Winooski. He lived with his wife, uh, Vesta, yes, Vesta, right here in Essex, Vermont. She lived a long life too, 1896 to 1990. Holy cow, good for her. Good genes in these folks. So, uh, anyway, I guess I just told you about someone. <laughs> if I have more information, I'll, I'll produce a, a full video on him. One thing you're not being inundated by are these itty bitty bugs. They're so annoying. And the last couple of nights I've been, or evenings I've been here, mosquitoes galore. Happy, happy mosquitoes to, um, to eat me up. So, I see Frank Perkins is buried here. There's a Perkins Hall at UVM. Is it Perkins Geology Building? Maybe the Geology Building. I mean, I graduated UVM in the, in the late 80s and um, haven't really been on campus much, too much after that. Well, I worked there for three years, but aside from that. What I like also on uh, gravestones is how the wife, see his wife, Roxana Burnham, is, um, that's her maiden name. Now, there's a Burnham Library in Colchester. Who knows if they're related? So, let's see. Let's continue on over here. Well, here's another familiar name in Vermont, Durkee. Now, admittedly, I cannot see this headstone because of the glare, but I think you can. You say anything about this person on the other side? Heck no, just turkey. Let's see what are the stones we have here. Oh, Briggs, there's a Briggs here. There's another Briggs over on the other side. We can see William Nelson Griggs, Company D. 142nd Regular New York Volunteers, discharged June 6, 1885. Lived April 21, 1834 to February 4, 1913. Lucy Sachs, his wife, March 25, 1841 to March 5, 1926. Missed her birthday by 20 days. All right. As we continue on. Ernest W. Norman, Vermont, Private uh, STU, Army, uh, TNG Corps, World War I, October 27, 1890 to February 15, 1961. I have to look up what those, what those abbreviations are for, but if you know, just put them in the comments below. It would make, uh, make my life so much easier because it's li likelier I'll forget than, uh, than not. He died at the age of 82 in 1905. 
Good for him. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a fountain here, but for the life of me, I don't remember where that would have been. Several years ago, oh gosh, 15, 16, 17 years ago, Preservation Burlington, uh, and I was, uh, I was on the board back then of that organization, organized a tour of the cemetery. In fact, they organized a tour of Lakeview Cemetery, Greenmount Cemetery, and the Elmwood Cemetery and Elmwood Avenue. And I was actually led tours in all three of those places. So, um, but I don't remember where the fountain is supposed to be. If you know, you know what to do in the uh, comments below. Isn't that pretty? Great use of an urn because that's what it's for, you know, for flowers. And uh, I love flowers. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I'll try to stop uh, stopping <laughs> as much as I am. But you can see all these lovely trees around here. I don't know what any of them is, but uh, I just know that they're lovely. And for those folks who know things like that, you can certainly put something in the comments below. We've had some great comments, some corrections from folks who know better than I. Thank you for that. Really appreciate it. When I'm wrong, just say so. You can see some larger stones here. I mean, we have uh, Morrison right, uh, right there, and Bates is somewhat large. Lockwood Merrick, holy cow. Um, not the largest I've seen here. If you watch my video on Frank, uh, no, no, Edward, uh, Edward John Phelps, rather. That man has a monument, holy cow. See, we're back on essentially a roadway here. Not paved. It's not paved anywhere here. But uh, I've never driven on this. Um, have I? Well, maybe I have driven on this. Yes, that's right. I took the long way around in my car. And I'm a bit willing to bet that those divots were from my car saying, really, I'm not an off-roading vehicle. Which, no, it's not. <laughs> But as you can see, as you can see, it's really humped up in the center. And my car did not appreciate driving on it. I dare say this place needs a bit of a trim. Now there's an old headstone right over there. Let's see if I can pan in for you. Let's see if I can see it now. It's over here, in this area right here. So old that it's actually been repaired in a couple of places. So I'm really glad to see they're fixing gravestones here. In fact, the first day I came over, there was a young man uh, back there somewhere leaning up against a tree and looking as if he couldn't believe his eyes I was driving in. And then uh, when I got as far as these trees right here, there were two young women, college age, they were all college age uh, people here. And uh, one of them gave me a dirty look, but you know, it, it's a roadway such as it is. Now I don't know who uh, Robinson was, but what I will say is how much I love the writing. Look at that R. I mean, wow, look at that R. What's not to love about that? It has like an Art Deco sort of feel to it. At least it, to me it does. Now these look intentional, these flowers here. They're soon to be flowers. Um, 
But again, I don't know what they are. So if anyone else knows, I'd appreciate if you would let me know. Let all of us know in the comments below. But look how pretty they are. Look at the, the cone on that. Wow. But given there are, let me see, one, one, two, three, four of that variety. And then there's this one here, which that looks like a weed. But these others definitely look like regular plants. All right. If you do come walking here, just be aware that the ground is very uneven in spots. So um, don't leave here with a broken ankle. And then this one over here, isn't that lovely? In memoriam, Benjamin S. Wright, born 21 May, 1851, died 6 February, 1852. Oh, a wee one. Anyway, I stand by what I keep saying in these videos that no parent should outlive their child. Now, isn't that tree amazing? That's the kind of tree it is right there. And this is the name familiar to uh, folks who live here, Isham. There's an Isham Street. I have no idea if that's the same person, though I, I'm pretty sure there are, there's uh, an Isham buried at Lakeview Cemetery as well. So beats the heck out of me. See some lovely red granite over there. That's not too pretty right there with the uh, the tree wanting to give the tombstone a hug. Mm. Because between the two, the tree is going to win. Every single time. You can see some other really old trees over here. That guided tour I mentioned earlier includes both monuments and trees in it. M equals monument and T equals tree in that. I can see that that thunderstorm knocked some branches off of trees. You probably hear me crunching. Um, there's some crunching under my feet because there's so many sticks on the ground. Another good sized monument right there. Now we can see there are some, definitely some newer markers, at least they look newer to me. New and shiny. Oh yeah, 2010. Uh, Lena J. Norman, 1911 to 2010. She lived a long life. Good for her. Um, 2017. So you can actually be buried here if, oh, in 2020, if um, you own a, a plot here. But otherwise, you're just out of luck, and uh, that's it. But something you want to be aware of here is this right back here. <laughs> you don't want to fall down here, that is for sure. I'm not going to get too close to the edge because I'm afraid of falling. <laughs> 
but um, really looks like a ravine, doesn't it? There was a ravine in Burlington. They cut Burlington in half, really, downtown area across four streets. So, uh, hidden bit of history. And I'll likely offer a video on that in some, some point in the future. But uh, you want to be mindful of, the, uh, of this over here. Um, so you don't fall down it. You don't, uh, you know, you're talking to your friends, you're not paying attention. All that kind of stuff. And then, oh, nuts. There you go. Thwunk. Down the side of the, uh, side of the hill here. We love when they have 